Hey everyone, I am Ömer from OFG Animation Studio YouTube channel. Welcome back again. In this video, we will not use any plugin for character animation. As you see, we will create this character animation inside of After Effects and as I said you, we will not use any plugin. That's amazing, right? Alright, if you wonder how I did this character animation, I will show the steps, workflow and the keyframes that I have used in this tutorial. Excellent. I don't want to waste your time. Let's jump into the After Effects. But before that, please like this awesome video so that you can support me. Okay then, let's begin. Alright, we are in After Effects. As you see, this is the character animation that I created inside of After Effects. So this is really basic character animation. Uh, so let's see the steps I do. Firstly, I have this character file and this shapes the body are separately as you see. This is the illustrator file. All right, perfect. And this is the character animation composition. This is the main composition and I have mouth shapes. There are different mouth shapes as you see. Perfect. So I want to use them separately. Uh, so this is why I separated them. So let's uh, come here to the character animation. First of all, this is leg and it is just one piece. Two legs in just one composition, one layer. And this is body. Hand two, forearm two, arm two. They are separate layers. Hand one, forearm one and arm one. Okay, neck, head. They are separate layers. As you see, this is the face composition. Double click. So I have this face elements like eyes, eyebrow, mouth and nose, as you see. So I just have some basic animations. First of all, for instance, the eyes are blinking. As you see, I copy these keyframes and use them on the timeline in different time. So make sure when you animate it, just break the chain and animate the Y axis. Excellent, perfect. So let's see the, the let's see the eyebrow. As you see, just we have a position animation, and I drag the eyebrow a little bit upper location. So it will be down here, and the same thing we have this loop animation. Okay, perfect. Let's go to the mouth shapes and we have different mouth shapes as you see. Uh, they just have three frames or four frames. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, three frames as you see. This mouth shapes will be visible for three frames and this one as well. This one as well. So they are in separate layers and you can randomly arrange on the layer panel. So this is the random mouth shapes. For instance, I want to uh, put this mouth shapes here and this one here. So you can customize it. All right, perfect. Let's go to the face composition. And we have, I, I have shown everything for face. Let's go to the character animation. And the face composition is just here, as you see. And the head is just one piece and the anchor point is here because I want to rotate from this from this center point and this is neck as you see arm and forearm one hand one as you see let's solo them so this is they are three shapes as arm one forearm one and hand one and the anchor points are in a region that I can rotate them so for instance forearm the rotation is here because it will be rotated from this angle and the hand is as well. So make sure the anchor points are in this location. I did for the same thing for the arm two and the body just one piece. The anchor point is here and the legs. It doesn't matter because we don't need to animate it. All right, let's see the animations that I created for let's see the keyframes however first of all I need to inform you that you need to parent the layers for instance face is parented with head and head with neck neck with body 
In addition, hand one with forearm and forearm with arm one. So make sure you parent with them. This is the same thing for arm two. And the arm one, arm two should be parented with body. That's all. Okay, perfect. The parenting is done as well. So let's see the keyframes. Select all the layers, press U on the keyboard so that we can see the keyframes. So I have this four second animation. Uh, I just change the position of head as you see and rotate it a little bit. This is the same thing for this area and this one as well. So make sure you just uh, change the position like going up and down and rotate uh, from left or right. So this is customizable animation and the arm one for arm one and hand one they are they have keyframes as you see and they have just rotation keyframes so i need to just rotate them i don't have to change the position of them so as you see uh, the arm is moving here arm one so as you see the arm one is moving here i just change the rotation from zero to minus 28 and the same thing will be for arm 0 to plus 66 and the last one is for hand from 0 to plus 1 so when you change these parameters you can have this animation for the arm i did the same thing for the arm too so they are the same things as you see and you can change the position of the change the rotation of the arm as you see in this animation area so they are here as you see and i just need to change their their rotation for with different parameters with different numbers let's say okay perfect let's go to the body and for the body just i have a rotation so it bends i mean the body bends here and again here it bends to the right location and then here i have same bending animation for the body yeah that's so as you see everyone we don't need to use sometimes a plugin for the character animation so we just keyframe some parameters like position and rotation rotation we can make a character animation inside of after effects if you want to learn more character animation styles Please go my YouTube channel and watch character animation tutorials. If you want to learn how to use Doig Basil plugin which is free, I have many tutorials for it as well. You can go my YouTube channel and check them out. If you find this video helpful, please smash the like button. And if you have any questions regarding the character animation, you can drop your questions on the comment section below. I will respond and answer your questions as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I will see you later.